Hi everybody, Nancy here. Today I'm going to show you how I created the 5 minute dash and trash automation. Someone asked me in one of the comments how I did it and what video to watch. And for me it's just easier because the ones that I found that I have created already may be confusing to try to do a different kind. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I did it. Again, so if you're not interested in this particular automation and you know how to do it, then just ignore what I'm going to, you can just go ahead and close down now. There's no point in wasting your time. And let me go ahead and say this. I created a 17 minute video and instead of saying automation, I said animation every single time. So if I do that, I'm sorry. I don't know what it is about me and words, but... I kind of just make them up as I go. <laughs> Sometimes it's like just, it's so frustrating. But anyway, I am creating an automation, shortcuts and automation to set up an alarm that will go off and turn on a on Pandora so it's playing music while I run through the house trying to pick up trash. That's what I'm trying to do. All right. So because of that, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and set your Pandora up. It, well, I mean, you can use other music producing things. You know, I music. I just don't have but one song that I bought from um, the Apple Store. I just use Pandora because it's free. You know, <laughs> and but you, what you want to do is go ahead and open it up and choose the radio station that you want to listen to. See the down arrow that's underneath the time of day? If you click on that time arrow, then you can change the um, radio station that you're going to listen to when the alarm goes off. All right, so pick the one you want to use. And go ahead and close that down. Go to the shortcuts. Now, for me, it's easier to create shortcuts that do things separately and then string them together in an automation. I think you can do all this same thing under automation, but for me, it's just easier to do it on the shortcuts. And that way I can use do both of them separately if I want to. Now this five minute dash and trash, that's what we're gonna create. So I'm gonna click on the three dots just to open it up so that I can look at it. And th there's only two things that it does. The first thing, start a timer for five minutes. All I know, see, normally I'd come to this and it'd be a blank screen. And I have to tell it what I want it to do. And I, I know that I want to start a timer, but I don't know if it if I have to say open a timer or what exactly I have to say. So it's just easier to search on timer. Um, and then it'll give me suggestions about what you can do. Now, see, you can see that these suggestions are all things that I've done in the last, well, today, basically. I, I had it going for five seconds just so I could run it and test it. You know, I don't want to sit around and wait for it for five minutes to see if it actually works. So I'll do little five second things just to get it rolling all right so so i would pick the start timer and now it's asking me how many minutes do i want to do it now it's defaulted to minutes but if you click on the word minutes it opens up and you can see you can change it to hours or seconds or just leave it to minutes and again tap on the ghosted thing and Type in however how many minutes you want to run this thing. If you want to clean for 30 minutes, change it to 30 minutes, okay? Now, if that's the first thing you want to do. So I would, I showed you on the other video, you can just grab it and drag it up to the top. But since it's already there, I'm just going to kill it. Then the next thing I want to do, I know it has something to do with Pandora, but but it's an app. So I want to open up an app. So I'll just type in app to see what I get. And uh, open file. 
share apps. There it is down there under scripting, open app. You know, it might be a better idea to remember it's open app than try to remember because that's a lot of suggestions. And if you had to go through each and every one of those, it would take you all day. So just, and you can click on the little eye on the right and it tells you what it does, opens a specific app. And then you just click on the plus sign or you just tap on it. You know, if I just tap on it, it adds it over there. Now that I've got it over there, I tap on the ghosted APP, and here's where I would tell it Pandora. So I just scroll down, and this list is in alphabetical order. M-N-O-P. So I find Pandora and put it in there, and that's done. That's all there is to it. And now I'm just clicking on the right, the little X on the right, because it's... Um, uh, I, I don't need it. I already had the two. Now, I would change the name up in the top left corner. Just tap on the name and make it whatever you want to make it. All right. And you can change the icon by clicking on the icon there and, you know, change the color and the icon, the image. So that one is done. It's created. So I just click on done. Now I'm going to create the thing that after I've done the trash and dash or dash and trash i want it to automatically put it in my zoom notes planner and to do that i've got like 10 different things that i automatically put things into like when i go out to eat i always create a, an alert and one that's not an alert the alert puts it in the planner on the day that it happens you can see it on your planner page the one that has no alert to it puts it in a list if you draw a shape and say you want to see all the times you went out to eat that's how you would create that with the no alert all right so to not have to create both of those separately I have created different shortcuts to handle each one of those things now because I've already created all of them do the same exact thing. I just put things in different places and I tell it what to put in different places. So say for example, this Aldi groceries, I just tap on the, the three dots, hold down, and then I just duplicate it. Once it's already created, I can copy it and use it again. So now I'm gonna take that second one and I could have picked any one of these because there's two actions and they do the same exact thing. But we're going to start from scratch just so you can see what it is. All right. I know that I want to add a reminder. So I type in reminder. And see down at the bottom, add new reminder. So I just tap on it and it puts it at the bottom. Now in the ghosted area, this is where I um, will find an icon to use that I just like having pictures in my daytime or in my planner. So I'll find a picture that makes sense to me. Let's say it's a microphone. And now I can go back to text and type some words and it'll put whatever I want to there. And then under the word reminders, I click on that and it t I tell it what list that I want to add it to. So let's just say I want to add it to be creative. And now that one would, be, would have been trash because we're talking about trash, but in this instance, so I've just created one with no, um, no alert. Now I want to make a copy of that one so I don't have to do the do it over again just hold down on the little thing over on the left and duplicate that now i've got the same thing i don't have to remember that it's microphone g g j j k all i had to do was duplicate it now i'm going to change the no alert to alert and i want it to i'm going to tell it in the ghosted area that i want the current date down at the bottom it's one of the options down at the bottom 
and then for some reason it pops over to the right and you have the opportunity now to change what the date actually looks like now see the the alert is kind of like a timestamp and that's the way zoom notes looks at it if it has a timestamp on it it's going to show it it's going to display it on your planner okay if you tell it to you you don't have to do that you can never never use it at all but it is an option that you can turn on so under date format I can change that to be any of these different things you can look at each one of these and see what they do but I usually either pick none or short I don't I don't like the medium it's just too many words it takes up too much space and again you can run a test to see what it's going to put there but I always use the short so that's all I have to do there is tell it that I want that now when I run this uh, let's go ahead and run it what it's going to do is going to go ahead and create two different um, reminders because one is going to Aldi Groceries and one is going to that, whatever that is, under Be Creative. Now, if I look, now the way I ran it, there was, see the, the little triangle on the top bar? I just pressed that and that ran it. Now I'm going to look in my planner to see if it worked. Go to my planner for today and see, there it is. I've got the little microphone and the little whatever that gg whatever and then the aldi groceries and now i can mark it as complete because it's not really a reminder i didn't do save i do complete and save complete and save and now they're all black now i'll go out and delete that later because i did not do that all right now, I know that it works. That's what I wanted it to do. That's one shortcut, and that's how that works. So now I'm just going to delete all that mess that I just created because it's just junk. And, and like I said, if you're doing the trash, you'll put a little trash can or, or not and put took trash out or whatever you want it to say in your planner. All right, and again, change the name so that it makes sense to you. And do done. Now, I don't need that one because it's a copy. So I'll hold it down and do delete and just get rid of it. Because I've got too many now. Now that I've created the two different shortcuts that I, I need to run the automation, I go to automation, which is over on the far left. It's uh, the second thing down. Click on that. Now to create a whole new one. You click on the plus sign up at the top. You choose Create Personal Automation. You want it to run at a certain time of the day, so you click on Time of Day. And then you tell it what time you want it to run. So it, all I have to do is select the time and change it to whatever I want it to be. Let's say it's that, and then I do Next. And now I click on Add Action. I want it to tell it what to do at 11.30 something. I click on that. And now because I'm not real sure what it is that I want to do, you know, I, I know that I want to run shortcuts. So I'm going to search under Shortcuts. See, Open Shortcut or Run Shortcut. There it is. There's, there's my option. So I'll click on the Run Shortcut. Now I'm going to tell it the ghosted shortcut, click on it, and t choose the five minute dash and trash, and do next. No, no, don't do next, okay? Now we've created the first one. We need to go down at the bottom again under search apps and do shortcuts again. Short. And again, run the shortcut, and we're going to run the second one that 
actually puts it in the planner. And that one was, it was, I keep forgetting, fill trash bag. That's what I want to use. That's what it's going to type into my planner. All right. And now that I've got those two things working, I'll do next. And it's ready to roll, except I turn off this ask before running because I don't want to have to tell it yes every time. I, I don't want it to ask me. I just want it to run, and I just jump up and go and do done. Now, I have just created that's going to run at 11.33 every day. Now, I'm going to delete that because <laughs> I'm not going to do that. So, I'm going to, to get rid of it, I'm going to drag from the right side, you know, like every other way of drag. You, you do this everywhere. So, just hit delete. Now, that's gone. And that's all there is to it. All right. I hope that helped. Have a good one.